Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to solve the final examination question for my uh, Revit course in uh, Ajman University. Uh, the questions that uh, I'm using here is for the year 2000, for the academic year 2017-2019, sorry, 2017-2018, so uh, a year ago from now, and that's the tower that uh, the student was supposed to present and I wanted to solve that question that might help you know my dear student at Ajman University to have a good example of uh, how the question will come and how it's look like so when we got our special different of course final examination uh, you have a clue of uh, how to solve so that's the tower that we did last uh, we designed last year and uh, pre presented here in the sheets or the title blocks and a, a couple of suggested to plant the site uh, and the, <clears throat> also the, 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 the diagram that show the sun path during a specific time so what what the things look like is just like a three hours exam and basically you gotta start by solving or creating the conceptual mass tower so in it I will be providing for you a couple of pictures that represent like steps so you can start the work from and each step you know uh, it's gonna tell you here the name of the of this picture what you have to do scaling down copying and then rotating and so on and you know until you get the conceptual mass first finished and finalized like this shape first and then you're gonna go ahead and send that uh, or create that the adaptive component and then send it to the product environment to be finalized anyway so getting back the first image we have or the startup image is this one which is as you can see is just a 25,000 or 25 meter uh, going the three ways here like triangular star so I'm going to rivet and go file new and then conceptual mass of course and then you go up and up again to pick up an English system and then a conceptual mass file as the picture was showing it's a 25,000 so even without telling guys this guy should be a, a millimeter system so I'm gonna go top of you or level 1 uh, UN on the keyboard and double check its uh, units millimeter which it is now so you can go ahead and draw some guidelines I'm gonna start from the intersection going up and that's the 25 mil you can select this guy and have the rotate command and you see this is the point for the center of the rotation just click and drag and place it in the you know the center of the intersection X and Y uh, probably you need to make a copy and then you know go ahead and do the 120 thing like this and probably need to repeat this step one more time again don't forget the copy button and then just move it 120 the other way around to get uh, you know this triangular system or triangular you know shape now that's done now just connect the dots to define the triangle so I'm gonna connect the dots as such and uh, for some reason skip this one and then of course you know you gotta get uh, you know get rid of those construction lines and fill it the corner with a 6,000 uh, millimeter so it's probably need a couple of tabs to select the line by himself don't go you know quickly and select you know he's gonna you know when you first click gonna delete the entire triangle we need just this line and again tab and click that just the line and that's the fillet command and pick up pick up those in here click and then change that to 6000 and do the same on each corner I think it's already 6000 okay now that's been done we get uh, that shape what we want and then now in the in the elevation create the current 
you know uh, levels they are again not floors they are just the steps for us to create you know the required shape please guys distinguish between those levels here in the conceptual mass are they are just designated for making the form and they are not the same exact real levels that we create in the product environment of course I'm not going to create level 4 at 70 meters from the ground you know those are steps for the generation of the form levels guys is different in the conceptual mass totally from the product environment just to highlight this for you anyway it's 18,000 and 20,000 so probably I'll, I'll start up with this going to ease elevation and then creating a levels uh, one I think 18,000 and the second one is uh, 2,000 millimeter above that which is totally make no sense at all <laughs> so I'm just gonna do that anyway so level 4 it's uh, 70 meter which is technically 50 meter above the previous one and then 50 and then 50 okay so that's easy so that I'm just gonna go as lazy as possible that's the level can just place it anywhere and then override the number but again as lazy as possible as I said so that's the level so the last one should be level 6 and should be 170 meter which is correct now the next step is really it doesn't need any definition in here it's just in the 3d just copy this guy two more levels up so copy this dude again guys don't use this copy it's really this one and then align to selected level and pick two and three yep now back to this it's telling you the name uh, in level three just a scale down in 80 percent to the center beautiful let's do that just go back to level three select the guy and pick scale and I'm gonna use a uh, uh, numeric I'm gonna use uh, 0 0.8 and then you know click here that's an 80 percent have a look at the 3d that's correct now just take this guy copy level 3 to 4 5 and 6 that's what the picture here telling you briefly so I'm gonna click that guy again copy and you know what to do so that's what we want so far so good now tell you at level 4 rotate to the right with a 30 degree depending on the mid low edge so that's the mid low rotated uh, 30 degree it's easy again level 4 select rotate drag the point to the middle and then just push it 30 degree and now back to the fifth level do the other way around so in the fifth level select this guy rotate 30 degree so technically one going that way and the other way going the other way around beautiful now create the podium so this guy this guy and this guy don't select the don't select the three of them to create this because this is going to be curvy so select the first and the second this guy and this guy all right and then select you know probably with a couple of tabs this guy and this guy to get this result this liney edgy otherwise gonna be curvy we don't want that now create this shape easy select this and then select everything else to generate curvy geometry as such now one of the most common condition is usually student go ahead and define 
you know, the pattern as I, you know, described in here. That's so wrong, guys. You should be a little bit patient. In, in, in here, it's, it's, it's a kind of a trap. So this is a geometry. This guy is another geometry. So when you send them, there is a common face between them. So it's a good idea to select this and then join, you know, again, one and two. Now they are together as a one geometry, see? There is no, there is no edge supposed to be, you know, double edge supposed to be in, in between the geometries or in, the, in between both of them. Uh, I think now in the second time it's, it, it took it correctly, see? The first time it wasn't working, so the second time it was the best for me. Now you know that those lines disappeared for some reason, it's okay, but when I'm, you know, selecting this with a couple of tabs, the whole geometry is selected, I'm sure there's no extra edges in between. Beautiful. Now follow the instruction, it tells you a division of 50 by 10 with a, a triangular bend pattern, so it would be a small thing to couple of times click on the tab button and then you go divide and then pick the pattern okay where is my pattern that's a triangular bend and I'm gonna go 50 and then you know 10 and hit apply and without even looking of course it's gonna repeat that for the rest so you know I'm hitting control and then you know select them both beautiful now that's been done now we need to do the podium, I think, the same thing, it's, except that it's, uh, I think it's 8 by 8. So, again, a couple of, hover on the tab button, and then control and then click, and then, you know, control and click, divide, and repeat the same thing. And instead, it is just an 8 by 8 for some reason. I don't know why. All right. That's uh, so far so good. That's my geometry. That's the main conceptual mass. So it should be, you know, ended here. That's our final geometry that we have to do in the conceptual mass. Now, it is really smart to go file and save as. Lots of people, you know, misuse the, the command save as. You must save when you work in such cases, you know. You have to make sure that, you know, for the, for the next references, that this is the tower's actual name properly. And it's going to be easier when you load it and you understand what you're loading in the product environment. The same thing when you're going to do the adaptive component for it. So, again, I'm just going to save that in the lectures and a final exam and Sunday case for the video so I'm gonna name it properly so you should go uh, conceptual mass tower so you understand what is it save that and by that guys I will end up this video in the next video I'm gonna do the, the adaptive component and load it here and you know generate the entire curved cu uh, curtain panel here that we have and then in the third video, I'm going to upload it simply to the project environment. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.